is like legit the weirdest top to film in ever. First of all, these little thumb hole things I feel look completely weird. And then it's like, does this stay open? Do I keep it like that? Do I zip it up? It's like, I'm a mess. What up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, this is actually a pretty exciting one because it has to do with direct feedback, I guess, from you guys over on my vlog channel. So I've been asking you guys what you kind of enjoy seeing on my channel and what you want to see more of. And I don't know why this topic is requested so much. I am definitely not at all an expert on this topic, but a lot of you guys want more sex education videos. So that is exactly what I'm going to be providing for you guys today. And I actually decided that I'm going to do this topic and kind of like a two-parter. So today's video is going to be the top 10 reasons why condoms fail. With that being said, if you use condoms correctly, they are 98% effective. So don't go and freak out because I know a lot of us use condoms as like our number one way of preventing pregnancy. But just in case you're slipping up, you're doing a little something wrong, I'm gonna put you on and let you know the top 10 reasons why they fail. And then tomorrow's video or the next video that will be up after this one, I will also post a link down below, is going to be 10 crazy facts about condoms. So thank you guys so much for requesting this over on the vlog channel. If you are not subscribed to my vlog channel, please, Pause this video right now, go over and subscribe. I always have the link down below. It is completely different from this channel. This channel, it's, it's kind of weird for me to say this given the topic of today's video, but this channel is kind of like a little bit more of like my professional side. I know it's like it's such an oxymoron today since I'm filming a video about condoms, but over on my vlog channel, it is completely different. It's real, it's insane over there, and you definitely get to see an entirely different side of me. So please take a second and go subscribe to my vlog channel. And without any further ado, let's get into the top, I have a hair in my mouth that is nasty. The top 10 reasons why condoms fail. All right, and I do want to mention that these points are in no particular order. They are completely random. So number one is using a condom after it's been opened for more than three hours. I don't know anyone that kind of preps their condom and opens it up and puts it in their pocket or in their bag or in their side table or wherever, but definitely open your condom right before you're about to slip it on your member not a couple of hours in advance because it's definitely not going to be as effective. Reason number two, and do I really even have to say this one because it is completely nasty, but reusing a condom. I don't know if there's any insane human being on this world that has actually reused a condom after using it with another woman or even another man. Hey, it's your business, but definitely each condom is intended for just one use, so definitely do not reuse your condoms, please. So number three is actually unrolling your condom before you put it on. I don't know what to call it. I feel like I wanna call it your member instead of saying penis a hundred times in this video, but I am definitely not one of those people that are like, oh, I can't say the word. So I'll just alternate between penis and member, but you definitely do not want to unroll it and then try to slip it on. It's not a sock. There is a proper way to put a condom on. I will see if I can find a video on it and link it down below, but you definitely do not want to unroll it and then slip it on like a sock. Instead, you kind of want to just prop it right on top like a little sombrero, I'm gonna say, and then just gently roll it down and you're good to go. Number four, I think that this is something that actually a lot of people do opening it up with something sharp. You don't want to use your teeth. You don't want to use a pair of scissors. You don't want to use a knife. You don't want to use a razor. For the most part, if your hands are not like covered in lube or greased up in any way, condoms are very simple to open just with your hands. So definitely no sharp objects, knife, razor, fork, near a condom most likely is going to put a tiny little hole in it and you guys already know what's gonna happen from there. And I cannot tell you guys how many condoms were wasted during the making of this video. Number five is using two condoms at once. Just because you layer two condoms on, one on top of the other, does not mean that you're going to be any more protected. It's actually most likely going to do the exact opposite and put too much pressure on your penis, especially once you, you know, finish, once you ejaculate and there's even more pressure in there, I'm telling you, one condom is all you need. No need to double up. 
it'll also save you some cash. Number six biggest mistake is slipping your condom on and then slipping into whatever you're gonna slip into without making sure that there's enough room at the tip of the condom. What I suggest doing is after slipping your condom on is kind of squeezing the very tip to make sure that there's enough room to collect whatever is gonna come out of your penis when you're finished because you got to make sure that there's enough room for that. Number seven, I think this one definitely goes without saying, is using an expired condom. Now I do have to say that condoms do last a pretty long time. I believe they last anywhere from three to four years if they're stored correctly, which is in a dark, cool place, but you definitely don't want to take a chance and use an expired condom because it's probably going to end up in a way that you will not be happy about. Number eight, condoms are actually very sensitive to extreme heat, so here in our little demonstration demonstration we're being a little bit on the extreme side obviously nobody is going to cook a condom but even if you just have it in your back pocket or in a wallet maybe you're a female and you have one in your purse and you put that purse underneath the sun it's pretty much going to break down the condom so you definitely want to store them in a cool dry place and do not expose them to extreme temperatures now the next one is actually one that I had no idea about and when I was doing a little bit of research for this video I was actually very surprised I did not know that oil-based lubricants are a no-no to mix with regular condoms. If you are going to be using a lubricant in addition to your condom, you have to make sure that it is water-based or silicone-based. You do not want to use an oil-based lubricant when you're mixing it with a condom. No bueno. And I do have another quick little tip that I do want to squeeze in since it does have to do with lubricant as well, and that's do not place any lubricant inside of your condom. Obviously, if you use your brain here, it's gonna make the condom slip off a lot more easier. If you're gonna use lubricant, only use it on the outside of the condom. Do not put lubricant inside of your condom. It's just, it's not gonna be a good idea. And the last reason why condoms tend to fail is actually during the withdrawal with withdrawal? Very last reason why condoms tend to fail is during the removal process or the withdrawal process, I'm going to say. So obviously after both of you are done doing your thing and it's your turn. Okay, how do I say this? Okay, I have to think of a way to say this on a pretty much G-rated channel. I'm gonna keep it pretty straightforward. When you are removing your penis out of whatever you're removing it out of, make sure to hold the condom at the very base on your penis as you pull out because if you just whip it out the condom's gonna stay in there your penis is gonna be out and you're gonna be in for a heap of trouble and lastly I just want to finish this video by keeping it real with you guys I know that the majority of people don't like using condoms I for the longest time was on birth control pills just so that I didn't have to use condoms recently I did get off birth control and now I have to use condoms and again they're not my most favorite thing in the world. I figured that I would throw in a little added benefit, a little bit of knowledge here. There was actually a scientific study done that showed that when condoms are used during sex, that it does promote longer lasting sex. So maybe that can be a little bit of an incentive. I don't know. And personally, I just want to add what really ruins sex is a lack of communication, not whether you're wearing a condom or not. I want to end this video by telling you guys to remember that condoms are only part of a prevention plan and accidents can happen even if you're a condom, sex, or whatever expert. Accidents happen and it's never 100% guaranteed. So proceed with caution. Those are my top 10 reasons why condoms tend to fail. If you guys like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and let me know down below. Again, this is me trying to give you guys what you're telling me that you want to see more of. And the next video that will be up is going to be the top 10 craziest facts that I could find about condoms. And I'm telling you, there are some really crazy facts about condoms out there. So that video will be up next. Make sure to thumbs this one up and please go ahead and subscribe to my vlog channel, my second channel, all of the information will be down below. Thank you guys all so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Mwah. Bye.